Hey guys, it's been a very long time since uh, I've posted on this channel. Um, where have I been? <laughs> I'm even gonna lie. Um, I've just been I've been doing my thing really, but yeah, this channel um, I've decided that I'm gonna give it a different, different, different thing. Um, so yeah, this channel is gonna be just vlogs, vlogs, discussions, um, just those of the two really bit of traveling you know you know you know so yeah um, welcome back to my channel um, if you haven't subscribed already it would be great if you could subscribe I'll be posting every week or two um, about my life and just about the come up especially the come up with Christ and just maturing more in the faith but also um, living a life that can help me kind of stay content if that makes sense so if you're into self-improvement um, if you're into like psychology, mindset, if you're into, um, you know, Christianity, faith, then yeah, this will be a great channel um, to subscribe to. So, um, yeah, today's just going to be a little introduction to who I am, where I come from, what my testimony is, and um, why I've decided to kind of start the journey that I'm starting now. So, when I was younger, I was always someone who... Um, kind of had like learning issues so um, when I was younger I was diagnosed with um, what is known to be Asperger's syndrome and basically that is um, it can there's various different things on the spectrum um, that I don't know about too much unfortunately but for me it was um, my social skills and my ability to be able to um, fully adhere to emotions and different reactions so um, that's just kind of an insight as to what I struggled with when I was younger um, I still struggle with it now sometimes but yeah um, so when I was younger and I got diagnosed with this I felt very isolated in a sense that I wasn't normal and when um, when I got diagnosed with this it was like it was kind of it's just kind of like my whole entire perspective of life changed around me. It's like, okay, cool. I'm like this little insignificant P and everyone is like massive, this massive rock. Um, and they just have it together and they're able to think things through properly. And I'm just, I'm just a mess. Um, so I spent most of my young um, life um, from like, I believe it was like year six to like year nine and tennis um, I spent it, a lot of it just trying to be normal does that make sense like um, I went to a special needs school um, up from year 7 to year 9 um, but I wanted to be normal so I, I said in my head you know what um, I want to I've decided that I want to move to a mainstream school even if I struggle a lot or whatever so I decided to work very hard um, in my special needs school um, so that I could move to a mainstream school. In year nine, I eventually moved to a mainstream school. Um, and yeah, the transition was very difficult. Um, I did cry quite a few times. Um, not necessarily because anyone did anything wrong to me, but just because it was like, how do I deal with this? I can't deal with it. Um, it was just difficult sometimes. But I didn't cry that much. I think it was like three or four times or five times um, in like secondary school. Um, so yeah, that happened. Um, I'm saying um a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really good at this thing. I'll be real, but um, yeah. So then, from year nine to eleven, I started to kind of understand that people, um, how people act. Like I was a very observant person, literally because I wanted to learn how to be normal. So I started incorporating, <laughs> incorporating what I learned into like my own kind of flow and personality which is kind of weird i guess now that i'm looking back at it because i didn't really need to do that but i did it anyway um yeah i always wanted to play football i wanted to um really go pro in football but um no one really supported me i guess so i was kind of like okay if no one's supporting me that means i'm not good at football so i decided when i was in year 11 that i wanted to um, become a finance man or, or, or someone that earns a lot of money do you understand so um, I decided that I wanted to be an accountant um, from when I was in year 11 and yeah 
so I went to sixth form um, in Harris first um, studied I think it was business BTEC maths and chemistry um, had the opportunity to, to do media but I took it down I don't know why because that that was the opportunity of a, of a lifetime but yeah um, and I believe that's when I kind of first started to see my talents flourish when I was in sixth form I, I volunteered in a lot of activities so um, I worked in, I worked at Ernest and Young I did a YouTube challenge that I think is probably uh, quite a few people know me for um, I guess it's not that bait but yeah I did a fundraising challenge I did um, uh, yeah that's pretty much it I used to vlog here and there but yeah that was for a challenge as well um, yeah and then basically I wanted to go to a top university and um, glory to God now that the universities accept BTEX but back then they didn't so whenever I was looking at the universities I wanted to go to it was like okay they didn't accept BTEX they didn't accept BTEX so I was like okay cool I would have to retake and do full A levels so yeah I decided to retake um, and I ended up doing maths, geography, business and economics at another sixth form to then um, drop geography in, in year 13 so um, when I moved six forms I think this is when life really changed for me because when I was in um, secondary school there weren't really women around so I, there wasn't really like any form of interaction with the opposite sex in in school so when I went to six form for the second time I noticed that there were a lot of women and I noticed guys would act a lot different so in my head I was thinking why are guys acting different do you understand and I I kind of picked up some things from there as well you know when I first went there in year 12 I wasn't aware of what I was really doing I was just speaking to a lot of people like I said I'm very social I was very socially naive because of um, my learning disabilities um, a lot of the people around me told me to be careful and what stuff, but I wouldn't really listen. Um, but yeah, no, I, I was the person that would speak to everyone, uh, make sure everyone's okay, make sure everyone's smiling. Some some people didn't like that and some people did. That's just how life goes. Some people don't like you in their personal space. Um, that's just introversion. Do you understand what I mean? But yeah, I was very extroverted back then. Um, I started flirting with a lot of women I guess in that school and some of them I was just friends with um I guess that didn't really go down too well obviously it doesn't really go down too well when you when you're doing that do you understand um for various different reasons and yeah then um towards the end of year 12 I started to kind of take my A levels more seriously and remember why I went to um, why well, I went to retake in the first place to go to a top uni that didn't accept BTEX. So, towards the end of year 12, I've gotten like, my mock results and I've gotten, um, I've gotten all B's pretty much. I think it was, I think it was two B's and one C. Yeah, so it was two B's and one C. And I got the highest, um, got the highest in my economics class. Um, and you're probably thinking a C, yeah. You see the school I went to. I'm telling you, that school for economics was. Ah, oh, thank you. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to bad after school, and it is, it is what it is, isn't it? They did their best with the money that they had, and there was because I'm corruption behind what they were doing. But um, it is what it is. It happened a long time ago, so I'm just gonna say my story. I'm not really gonna point fingers at anyone. Um, but yeah, so got BBC, um, I was really happy. Um, and that means I was going to be predicted ABB. Does that make sense? Um, obviously geography, I got a D, so I dropped it, but, um, yeah, in year 13, I got a girlfriend. So when I got the, when I had a girlfriend at the time, 
like I said, um, <laughs> um, I didn't really understand how a relationship works. I just got into it because it it kind of just felt nice. Like, you know, I, I, I can feel like I can vouch for a lot of people. When you have a girlfriend, when you have someone around you, it's, it's just nice to have that feeling of being loved or being with someone, you know? So that's kind of how I felt, but I didn't really know how to control it. And obviously, this was when I wasn't close with God at all. So um, obviously, when you are close with God, you read the Bible and you know how a relationship should be and how a marriage is, um, what woman to look for and what man you should be before you look for a woman. So I didn't take into account any of that. And I just got into the relationship. Um, need to say that relationship destroyed me. Not, I wouldn't say she destroyed me. I would say the relationship destroyed me because I wasn't prepared for that. And um, it's one of the biggest regrets. I think my girlfriend would always, at the time, would always tell me. I think my girlfriend knew what was going to happen before it happened. Um, in terms of like everything. Um, but. Yeah, no, um, I I didn't. I stopped attending school because I wanted to meet her. Um, I'd have less discipline because um, I feel like when you're when you are um, progressing or seeking a life of pleasure, it's very hard to stay disciplined um, and conscientious. So that was something that I'd um, struggle with as well. Yeah, man, I could. It was it was hard for me to stay fit. I was just so content in this relationship. Like it was like, cool. I have this person, and I'm living in my own bubble, and no one else can stop me or whatever. And then, I remember when I got my A level results in year thirteen. And bear in mind, I was predicted A B B, and I was supposed to go to Birmingham University. I opened my results, and I got three C's. And obviously, some people may say that's good, but for me, it was like one of the worst feelings of all time. Like, I was extremely angry. I didn't know what was going on, but obviously, it was kind of my own fault because I didn't, I didn't study enough. I didn't focus enough in year 13. I was always um, messing around in school. If I wasn't messing around in school, I'd be messing around with my girlfriend. So, yeah. Um, then I went to university. I went to Bruno University through clearing. Um, that was, I guess, an experience that I didn't really think about before going there. And I wouldn't say Bruno was a great experience, um, but it wasn't the experience that I was supposed to go through, if that made sense. Because it was a decision that I made without really thinking. It was just like, okay, I want to go to uni. I want to, I want, I want, I want people to see that I'm going to uni and people to see that I'm doing well. So I went Brunel, um, studied for two years, I believe. Um, and Brunel was kind of the place where um, I had to learn as much as I could, as quickly as I could. And this is kind of where a lot changed. I would say um, I went there... In terms of my relationship, um, obviously I became single because I was like, you know what? I don't want to go. I want. I don't want to go through a phase where I'm depending on someone, um, and I'm not able to be able to like be the right man in a relationship, or um, how do I explain it? Or be able to do the things that I should be doing whilst also maintaining a relationship. Um, this is the reason why I'm still single now because I'm not kind of ready for that, but. Yeah, um, I went uni, I went to study economics and yeah, it was a very dark, dark time. Um, but I, it happened, I got consumed slowly and slowly. Like I didn't really know what was going on. I went there drinking, 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 smoking here and there, but just, just drinking, um, catching wines. Um, moving to different girls um, and it was a very it was a void that I was trying to fill because I was disappointed that I didn't get the right grades and um, I was also 
upset that I couldn't like be able to like handle women or maintain a relationship, and all of this this past hurt I brought into the I brought into university, um, and that kind of showed that was kind of that kind of showed through my actions in the first three months. Then I decided that you know what I want to improve myself. I don't want to be the same person. I don't want to be a failure. You know I'm. I'm in the situation I'm in now. Let's make the most of it. So I was, um, I started going, I started diving deep into self improvement, entrepreneurship, all of those things. Um, um, I was heavy into like Gary V, Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone. Um, who was another one? I saw. I was heavy into Jordan Peterson as well. Um, I started reading books. I started learning how to invest, save money, and. It, it 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 I guess it helped to some extent. Um, you know, my physical. I started I started taking my hygiene more seriously. I started. Um, I guess I started <laughs> I started dressing better. Um, I started wearing aftershave and etc. And I will notice that I I became more respected and I also attracted more women. So it was kind of like, all right, cool. Do you know what? Uh, this life is working well for me. Let me continue to improve and move forward. So um, that's what happened in first year of uni. Needless to say, I didn't focus on um, again same trap I fell into in year thirteen. This time, whilst I was single, I didn't really focus on the academia side of things. I still did well though. Um, I averaged, I believe, two one across all my modules. I averaged a two one across all my modules in first year. So I was like, Do you know, what? that's good. Um, but yeah, second year was when things got really dark. So I, um, my ego got inflated so high because of the respect and, uh, um, and, uh, attention I was getting from women. And I guess I didn't really notice it at the time because I was just, I was always one of them people that was just extremely bubbly and happy and, um, consistently just on good vibes, do you know what I mean? Like, I would be that guy, you know, that I'll just drink, dance, good vibes, be funny. Um, so it wasn't, on the outside, it, on the outside looking in, it didn't really look dark, but from the, from the inside looking out, it was dark, you know? Um, and I believe, um, obviously I had a, I had a nice place. Um, I had nice clothes. Um, I was working, uh, student finance, you mix that, it's comfortable, you know, I was working full time, not really full time, like part time, like 30 hours, whilst also getting student finance, so it was a good mix, It and yeah, everything looked good on the outside, like I had nice clothes, I smelled nice, I looked nice, I had a nice place, um, and to be honest, it was and then something just hit me one day I, I think it was like second half of second year um it's just like what am i really living for like i've now got i wasn't i wasn't like clear because obviously i didn't have a nice car i wasn't wearing designer garments like that i was wearing like nike and um stuff but i felt i got i was at a position in life where i was like you know what I've accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish when I was younger. Um, I worked, I beat my social disadvantages um, that I that I, that I believed I had when um, I was diagnosed with Asperger's. Had a nice house, nice clothes, nice room, nice, um, you know. I wasn't physically, I wouldn't say I was physically like, like I wasn't ripped, but I was muscular. Does that make sense? So I was like, okay, cool. I'm established there. I smell good, etc. Like I was always messaging different women, blah blah blah. But then something just hit me one day, um, and I think that's when I found Christ. It was hard because even though I accomplished everything, nothing, none of it was really genuine. Um, I didn't really have any genuine. Obviously, I'm not saying the the people I had around me weren't genuine, but it was like genuine for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
from I've always been the person that kind of that's very weird. Like I'm into like different. Um, I, I like deep conversations. I don't like surface level conversations. Um, and I would always have to like talk about women or talk about drip or talk about these things that I didn't really want to talk about. But because I because I learned okay, that's what most people talk about. I'll just talk about it anyway. But I was always someone that's like, okay, do you have a talent? What's your talent? Tell me about your talent. Why do you think that is? Blah, blah. I'm a very deep person. So I realised I don't really have any relationships like that where where like my relationships aren't really meaningful. Like Whenever I link up with people, it would just be to drink or to smoke or to have fun or to talk about like sexual relations with the opposite sex. It was just... So yeah, I remember. Um, I remember. I just prayed one time, and I was like, "God, please, um, I want my life to change, um, and I want these things to change." Um, so yeah, that's when I found Christ supernaturally. I had a supernatural experience with Him. Um, glory to God, um, you know, and I can happily say that. Uh, it's changed a lot so yeah that's part one i guess um of kind of my journey and how i've come <laughs> to of how i've come to the place that i've come to now it's not really a success story it's just more of like a, a natural story of who i am um okay so um this is part one part two we'll dive into more about my faith and what I've experienced in Christ since I gave my life to him and you know struggles with sin in various different areas but yeah if you guys liked um, this video you know um, share it with your friends if there's anything that you related to or um, that helped you please let me know um, I'm always I'm always happy to talk with people um, don't feel shy literally don't feel shy i'm always i'm always here to talk so yeah um we'll we'll wrap it up there and i hope you guys have a great day